determined tomatoes like a San Marzano and Aroma only get to a set size of so many feet, like four feet, and they only produce all their fruit at once. So you only want to take off the bottom branches in the lower suckers and allow the top part to grow well. Indeterminate tomatoes are a vine and they will keep going and producing fruit till frost. So you want to keep one main vine. So clean up the bottom branches and you can go up higher to clean up the suckers but leave the main top crown. So it's very easy. You go right next to it and clip it right off and you will have better airflow, less disease, splash up from from the ground because that's where a lot of diseases are carried. Pruning early on in the season right after transplanting the seedlings to the garden is ideal because it will channel the energy upwards into the main part of the plant where the flower buds are going to grow. So this is very ideal to do this not only to prevent disease but channeling the energy for what you really want to do is harvest some delicious wonderful tomatoes. Bonus tip, once you start seeing flower buds, switch up your fertilizer to tomato tone because the nitrogen is lowered in that and the phosphorus and the calcium are higher to help with the root strength and with the blossoms. The seedlings after being transferred, I also remove any flower buds so that way the energy gets put into the roots and stronger roots held up to the higher to the wind. So it's very important to do this. I do the same pruning method for the peppers. I, I remove the lower leaves to prevent disease. And I also remove the flower buds for a couple weeks. Pruning the flower buds off the peppers is actually beneficial, not only for the roots, but you will get more branches, thus higher yield of peppers. So as you can see, I'm going through and I'm just removing to make the bottom stem available for better airflow to prevent disease from splash up from being watered by the rain because I use a drip irrigation system to prevent that blossom in rot in tomatoes and in peppers consistently with a timer every day, same amount.